welcome. Today I will explain you how to get your turtle mount in Guild Wars to End of Dragons. Is it expensive? No, it's very cheap, you need only 50 gold. Is it hard? Everything is easy and fast with one exception, the very first event, to begin the collection. In order to begin the collection you need to complete the meta event in Dragon Ends, the last map of the expansion. When you complete this event, you will be rewarded with a turtle egg. Then you will get a mail to start the collection to unlock your turtle. In this meta event, you have to kill a dragon with help from every other player on the map. This boss is hard because you have only 20 minutes to kill, and most of the time will fail because of the short timer. Many people are not able to start the collection because of the difficulty of this event, so I'm going to take the time to give you 10 tips to help you. Trust me, after this event, everything is easy, so don't give up. Tip number one, find an organized map on the LFG tour. This is mandatory, you need an organized squad to make it. Tip number two, take your best build with your best gear. Don't use a new elite spec that you haven't mastered. Tip number three, use food on utility buff and take the buff from the Jed Tech protocol, it will increase your stats. You can stack this Jed buff in duration to more than one hour. Tip number four, follow the tag on the instructions from your squad. Don't hesitate to ask the lead to explain stuff before the fight. Tip number five, be patient. This is a hard event and you will need multiple tries. It's normal if you fail, don't give up. Take the time to understand the mechanics of the event. The more you practice, the better you will be. Same for other people and eventually you will succeed. Tip number six, the boss phases every 20%. At 80% you will have some green circles. Don't go inside unless your lead asks you to go in. At 60% you will need to kill some mobs, then you have to split into two equal groups to kill the two champions that spawn. You need to kill the bosses at the same time, so make sure you have balanced groups. At 40% you will have some green circles again. Same thing, don't go inside unless your lead asks you to go in. At 20% you will need to kill some mobs, then you have to split into three equal groups to kill the three champions that spawn. Tip number 7, if you die, you should directly teleport to the packed emergency waypoint and come back to the fight. Tip number 8, sometimes the boss will get a defiance bar that you need to break in order to deal more damage. Use your control skill, but also your electromagical pearls. It's a special skill that you can get from a United Legends way station. Tip number 9, sometimes the boss will get a buff that reduces incoming damage. To cancel this buff, you need to destroy the tail of the dragon that appears on the opposite side of the platform. Always follow your command. On tip number 10, good luck! Here we just completed the meta event. As you can see, everyone is extremely happy at the end. Especially this guy on the screen. When this event is done, here is your turtle egg. You did the hardest part, congratulations. Check your mail and visit the Arborstone map to start the collection. You have to bring your turtle egg to Rota. She is located on the north of the map. Talk to her and you will unlock the first collection starting small. The first collection is extremely fast, you need to feed your turtle. Talk to the Jet Robot Vendor Fidget, located just near Rota. You only need 150 carrots, 250 kale, 250 lettuce, and 250 strawberry. You can buy everything at training post, this is very cheap, and it will take one minute. Then buy the four items and you will notice that your turtle is growing from a baby to an adolescent. Then talk to Rota again and you can start your second collection getting stronger. This second collection is exactly the same, you need to feed your turtle. Talk to the Jet Robot Vendor Fidget located just near Rota. You only need 100 fine fish fillets, 50 fabulous fish fillets, 
Ten flavorful fish fillets. And five fantastic fish fillets. Then by the four items, and you will notice that your turtle is growing from an adolescent to a mature turtle. Your turtle will now follow you on the Arborstone map. And spread the love. Then talk to Rota again, and you can start the last collection sweeting up. Here you need to complete some events to transform your turtle into a siege turtle. Event 1. You need to kill the Jedmo to unlock Luxon tools. This event is located in Dragonhand's map on the minus 40 point of interest. Many people actually don't understand how to damage a boss and are running like chicken everywhere, so make sure to explain them how it works. Step 1. Kill the mobs, they will drop some crystal when they die. Step 2. Pick the crystal and go into the white circle. This circle will transform your crystal into a projectile. And step 3. Target the boss and use skill 2 to launch the crystal. This is how you damage the boss. Whip it multiple times, explain to other people if needed, and you will make it. You can check the LFG tool, you may find a group for the 7. Event 2, you need to buy the turret's plants from Elora, a hurt NPC located in New Canon map. You only have to complete the hurt once, then you can buy the turret's plants from the NPC for 16 gold. Event 3, you need to complete the meta event in the first map, Sighting Province, to unlock the turret power unit. This meta event is not hard, make sure to join an organized map thanks to a LFG tool, follow the lead, and kill the last boss to get your turret power unit. Event 4, you need to complete an event in the Echovald Viles maps to unlock the Ailwa Oil. Take the Crow Power Point, then go to the Forever Tree Point of Interest, in the south of the map. You have to complete a very easy event, collect the sap on the tree and bring back to the NPC. Event 5, you need to kill the Leviathan boss to obtain the Deluxe Leather Seating. You can find the Leviathan on two different maps, Sighting Province and New Kaneng. The Leviathan is very tanky, so you can't kill it alone, you need many players. Check the LFG tool on the two maps and you should easily find a group to kill the boss. Event 6, you need to buy the Truster plant from a hurt NPC located in the Ikuvals Vals map on the north. Take the Junkyard Waypoint, complete the hurt if needed. Then you can buy the plants from the NPC for 16 gold. Event 7. You need to complete the Kainang Overlook Strike to unlock the Struster Control Unit. You can find the group on the LFG tool in the Strike panel. Make sure to pick and optimize the build, this strike is not that easy. Event 8. Come back to the Arborstone map and to join Fiji on the north. You need 25 unidentified dice to buy the Saddler color selection. You can buy them on the training post, then buy the item. And last event, talk to Rota again to finally unlock your turtle mom. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe on YouTube if you enjoyed the video, that's the best way to support me. And if you want more, I got many Guild Wars 2 guides and builds available on my channel. You can follow me on Twitch, I am streaming every day, playing some music on my channel or playing Guild Wars 2. You are more than welcome, link is in the description. You can join my Discord community, everyone is welcome. And finally, if you want to support me, I got a Patreon. Everything is available in the description and in the pinned comment. Enjoy! and see you live on Twitch.